going. What's up guys? Today we are at Akihabara Station in Tokyo. It's time to go around. I know many of you guys are interested over here. So since it's actually close to my house and I come to hang out here, I will show you around some place that I like to hang out. So we're starting here, right next to where the station is. So just come out of the station, this is where you're gonna see. And you can already see that, oh, they actually changed it today. Today is October 1st, so you can see that they're changing into Halloween decoration. Low key, these cheese stars are really, really good. Usually in the afternoon, there's a very long line. So it's not open yet, but I know that a lot of you guys are into TCG. So here you can see there's a lot of cards. Um, this is for the Love Live expansion of, of uh, Vice Shorts. But they also have things like Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, uh, Vanguard. <clears throat> and the most popular one in Japan is Yu-Gi-Oh! Here's um, one of my favorite stores right out of the station, Gamers. Uh, it's really good if you're into a lot of like novelty anime, like Love Life and such. Some new magazines came out today. It's really good for official goods. If you guys are interested about anything or have any questions, please let me know. I'll take you to wherever you guys you want to see. I'm gonna show you guys something very cool that a lot of people miss out on. It's actually very close. So here's a little place that is right next to a store where you can find a lot of different bear goods. But here, you can see they actually have magic card taiyaki. So chocolate and cream, uh, chocolate and cream filled pastry. Anyway, just wanna show you guys that. We're gonna go the other way. I am going to show you where to buy a bunch of different things stores that I like and you guys want to see my favorite game center So we're back to where we started, that's where Gamers is. Uh, figures depend on price. I see them going as low as 500 yen, around 5 USDs, all the way up to a couple hundred. Depends on what show you're interested in. Shows that are bigger like Naruto, Dragon Ball, Love Life and such, you will find them going for cheaper. 
but more specialized niche figures you will find it for going for way more money crazy So something that Akihabara is actually supposed to uh, start as was an electronics like district. So when you come here, you can actually see a lot of um, watches, computers, and such. Just a quick side note, so if you're in Japan and you need a, well, you live in Tokyo and need a PC, it's a good place to go to. So, this is uh, a relatively new Sega Game Center, opened up only a couple months ago, but the biggest thing is that they have a taiyaki stand within the Game Center. And the cool thing is that Taiyak is always themed after something. So as you can see on the front, they have the Sega theme one. And right now, they have collaboration with Love Life. So if you're into that anime, you can get a specially shaped pastry. And you get a free coaster alongside it. So in this street, um, right now it's kind of early, but during the night, this street is full of uh, maids for Maid Cafe. It's kind of early, so you're not going to really see them. It's 11 a.m. right now in Japan. Um, I'll take a picture and upload it to the Twitter later today, so make sure to follow me on Twitter, please. It's, um, Reclock underscore Japan. So you can see right here, here's um, May Dream, one of the biggest make of in Japan. So this is actually my favorite game center. Um, I'm gonna take you guys in. Just a really quick note. You're not really allowed to film in there, so there's a chance I might get kicked out. But I'm gonna risk it for you guys. Well, I couldn't go in. They just told me to get out. So I'm sorry. Ohio. So here is uh, Kotobukiya. This store is known for having really high quality products, like really high detail. So Monster Hunter, um, Boku no Hero Academia, Devil May Cry. So if you guys are into like really nice detail collectibles, here's your place. Oh, here we go. The maids from the Maker Fair starting to come out. And 
Here is um, red spell potato. So here is a really nice place to come and get retro games. I know for a fact I can go in, but here it is. Actually, I am going to show you where I buy computer parts. So due to the economic crash of 90s with the bubble burst, it, computers are kind of expensive in Japan compared to other countries, but here is one of the stores where you can get some. And more up front, you can see like more of the same actually. So here you can see a lot of different theme cafes to go to. There are different themes, so the girl that was advertising earlier on is from actually from this place. So this is a seven, technical well, six, technically seven story, uh, big story shop. It has everything from cosplay goods, uh, brand new anime goods, trading cards, um, collectible vintage toys, used um, figures and such. And at the end, the Akiva Cultures Theater, where you can see a lot of live performances. Here's where you can buy a lot of um, gaming gear, right up the same street that we were walking around a second ago. Uh, a lot of gaming gear, gaming mouse, gaming keyboard. Right now it's closed, second early. And not plug in, but this is a very popular made cafe 
because they do have a full menu in English and other languages like Chinese and such. Um, Japanese people actually don't tend to like, uh, they're very big on privacy. They don't really like um, having their faces shown. Uh, obviously, they can tell that I'm doing something like taking video or streaming. So, they do tend to cover their faces just so that, you know, they're not in camera. And hey, hello, hello Tiana. We are saying hello back to you from Japan. It's another small game center. This is actually one of my favorite places to eat, ramen. At night, this street is also full with idols. Yeah, it's actually really big. They don't really use um, Facebook. It's not that popular for an app. Uh, they use more apps like, apps like um, Line for communication, just because of the degree of, pri of privacy. They're really, really big on that. So I'm actually going to show you guys something really, really cool. Um, I know that the new game just came out, but here's a Dragon Quest theme Lawson. So you can see the logo and everything has been changed. Can't really record inside. It says right there, no photos. I would say that it really depends on where you're talking about. Um, anime is kind of seen just as any other form of medium in Japan. So it's kind of like if you were talking about movies. Like, you know, you see a lot of uh, movie advertisement and tie-ins in a lot of places, like... Um, for example, right now I'm at a Dragon Quest um, convenience store, but in the States we had a Simpsons themed... Um, we had a Simpsons themed 7-Eleven um, when the movie came out. So it just really depends. Um, anime is just seen as a one more thing, as if it was like Marvel or anything else. Here is a this mandrake. You can buy new and used stuff. So you can see all the different categories. It starts at the eighth floor and it goes down all the way to the first floor. So you can get a lot of antiques, a lot of um, interesting figures, collectibles, video games, movies, CDs. So it's not everything just anime. You can see a lot of um, Disney theme products right here. So actually, I took a picture which I think I'll upload later to the Twitter. Inside of this store, there is a sign where they have a floor dedicated to non-Japanese media. And they actually called it, um, they had a picture of South Park, right? And it said uh, Daikoku no anime, so foreign anime. So to them, like anime, movies, cartoons, they're all the same. So that you can just see it everywhere. It 
if you joined in late, let me remind you, we are in Akihabara in Tokyo and if you see anything interesting that you would like me to see or have any request, let me know in the chat and I will take you there. Hey Casey, we are in Akiba. They are promoting spaghetti. Hey, no problem, Chris. For all my PC gamers out there. Actually, you just call it out. Um, I am going to loop around this street on the next chance I can, and I will show you where to get gachas. Hi, Cha Cha. See, so it's very interesting. You have. Dragon Ball right above Marvel. I will end when we loop around we'll go to the AKB cafe. I actually will show you where the AKB theater is as well. Are you guys into retro games? It's a, kind of a small store. You can get the NES Super Japanese Edition, actual Super Nintendo or the Super Famicom, N64. Some exclusives like the Famicom uh, disk drive, I think. Um, I will show you. Uh, right now they're closed, but we can walk around where some of them are. Street Fire action going on. See, so some of them are like 1,000 yen. That is kind of like the average you're somewhat expecting to get them at. Any anime figures? Anyway, we're gonna cross the street. So this place does, does have a lot of gacha, but this is something that I've only found here, really. Um, you can get like this like small like figures from different shows. So everyone has like a different play, uh, price. Like for example, um, Gintama is 800, while Madomagi is 1000. So you put in the money, then you choose what series you want and you get a random figure from the ones in the back and you get one of those 
from Street Fighter. And someone said they were interested in AKB. You can get pictures or DVDs or CDs featuring your favorite girl. My TCG boys, you can get some Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. Check this out guys, right now they're not out to promote it, but this is different types of animal cafe. So you have hedgehogs, owls, uh, they also have cats, dogs, animals. You know how I told you guys that, um, how do you call that, um, anime and movies are almost the same? Here's a bar that has a collaboration with John Wick. So they who have drinks based on the uh, John Wick movie. Yeah, so this type of cafes, uh, we had a video, we have a video up about Hedgehog Cafe, but you pay a certain fee, you enter, and you can play with the animals. So there's like some pricing and stuff, so opening times and such. And you just pay a flat fee and come hang out with them. You can see they are setting it up so they have all these different type of animals if you guys are into idols here is some idol shows that I may or may not have come to usually at night this street is filled with um, maids from maid cafes here you can see another one. This one is also very popular because it has English, Chinese, and Korean menus. So you can kind of see the type of food that you can get at Maid Cafe. Um, actually, it really depends on the places. Some places like uh, Maydream or At Home Cafe, which I actually kind of recommend, have um, really, really, like, how do you call that? They have a lot of maids that can speak English. Some other places is just base by base, so like you kind of have to try it out on yourself. Otaku Central, lit. Oh yeah, someone asked me about the AKB Cafe. Well, here is where the AKB um, theater is. So if you buy your ticket for, AK for the AKB theater, you can come here to this Don Quixote. So we have a, we have a video talking about what Don Quixote is. It's pretty much a giant like store that sells everything. But when you go up, you can see that the AKB theater is in the eighth floor. So you come here, you can come to see the AKB live. I think they have them almost every day. And here's another at home cafe, which again, popular for having English menu. And if you come, don't forget to get your light pens. Like, don't, this hype.
If you come and don't have internet, let me just let you know something. There is free Wi-Fi. Yep, every day. Like, literally every day. Here's another um, general goods store where you can get some crank game action going on. So, I don't really think I can go in too far, but this store does have a lot of different goods and it's mostly anime and when you go up that is different type of um, things that I'm not allowed to show on stream because we might or may not get banned but it's not hard to find um, stores that have adult goods in these areas so if you go in and go up those floors I cannot stream from them for sure Animate, I know a lot of you guys have heard about the store uh, Brand new goods are here Some gachas So this is a game center similar to the one that we were kindly reminded to exit. You can see what type of figures you can win here. Uh, hi Tommy, I am actually in Akihabara. I am walking around showing some stuff that I found. Um, we can see here a lot of gacha. If you want to check out something, let me know and I can probably take you there. Yeah, no worries. If you have any other idea of destination of where you would like to go um, hit me up on twitter at reclock underscore japan i'll be uploading um, more pictures of things i see and do day to day in japan so if you guys have any requests maybe i can upload or answer q a's online right now it's actually really sunny i seen i'm wearing a jacket and i regret wearing the jacket So, oh, here we go. We have the maid starting to come out. So this is Big Camera, and Big Camera is your number one like electronic store. Think about it like um, Best Buy. And this one has a bunch. And by I mean by a bunch, it's a bunch of gacha. Oh, 
Oh, hey. If you ask if it's under cloudy, uh, you can see a lot of Japanese people tend to wear umbrellas during the day when it's too sunny so that they don't get um, their skin damaged. Gachas can and are addictive. We are gonna go across the street and I will try to sneak a second time into the same game center. Honestly, I would like to check the temperature. I just can't because I'm using my phone. But when I left home, it was around 26 degrees. If you want to get nice Japanese food on the cheap, Yoshinoya. So this store is one of my favorite ones to get um, anime goods at. So you can see they have all the nestle berries. They have all the nestle berries here. Catalogs of what's coming up soon. And things that they will buy off of you and how much money they'll give you. Um, Overwatch guys, they have Genji. Some fate. So this store buys and sells uh, anime products and games and they like. I just checked the temperature, it's actually 28 degrees. Okay, this is the same game center, but we're sneaking in through the backside. Those are katana umbrellas, so the hilt looks like a sword. Yo, one time I went to karaoke with my friends and we just look at the most popular songs. Kid or not, Let It Go was number one. Like it's super huge. Okay, so we're low-key sneaking into a game center and should not be doing this, but I really want to show you what it looks like. I might get kicked out, but let's do it for the vine.
actually my favorite. I come here all the time. got spotted so we made it out uh, that song that was playing is actually the theme from Bubble Bubble so yeah I just got out before they kicked me out but that is how game centers look like And dancing games are in like the fourth floor. I'm not brave enough to go over there. If if you follow the Reclock Twitter at Reclock underscore Japan, I may or may not upload my pictures that I've taken inside. So make sure to follow us on Twitter too. But yeah, that game center is, is crazy. I love it. It has so many different games. It's a Sega Game Center. I can feel from the street, so I think some people trying to win some Dragon Ball. I think that's um, Vegeta. Come on, friend. This uh, this is a figure. We have around 10 minutes left, so we can check whatever you guys want me to check. You have 10 minutes. And yeah, One Piece is actually the number one selling manga, and it has no signs of stopping anytime soon. So if you're a, big, if you're a One Piece fan, Tyler, um, Japan got your cover, man. I'm gonna check if the maids are finally out. If any of you guys are fighting game players, here's where to get all the spare parts. And for my TCG boys, here's a nice shop to get TCG of like any cards of any game you play. Well, One Piece steel huge, like huge. A nice one day plan in Akiva. So personally, I would um, hmm. So I will have lunch. At, so there's this type of ramen called aburasoba that is actually not that easy to find, but it's actually very popular in uh, Akiba. So I will start by having, as you can see it right there, aburasoba. I would start by having lunch at one of these places. I would hit up some of the game centers. Um, my favorite one being... Uh, it's just um, the Taito Hei Center, which is the one that we just went into. 
um, walk around a little bit. Have some street food. Um, I will go to some of the um, anime shops we visited again already, such as maybe Mandrake or Mulan, the yellow one that I showed you guys earlier outside. Here is like some computer shops. But something that I would not skip would be either going to a maid cafe or going to an idol show. Personally, I prefer idol shows a little bit better. Um, idol stage is actually really good. I go up there every now and then with my friends. So yeah, just walk around, look at different things, get yourself some swag and chill out at some makeup or something like that for a little bit. They tend to be expensive, but they are a experience you cannot get outside of Japan. In fact, I do have a token from the last time I went to one. So I got a special token when I visited one of the idol shows. No putes today, no putes today. I've been looking for him. So yeah, you get to see a little glimpse of the maids from Maid's Cafe. So you can see them. At night, this street is just packed, like crazy packed. We're coming close to an end, so I will show you guys where one of my favorite car shops is. And then I will most likely show you where the AKB Cafe is. Here's another May Cafe. So you can see the food menu. So the prices can be found here. What you can get. So something to watch out when coming to Japan is to make sure you have cash. Cars are not accepted everywhere, but this cafe is popular because it has English menu and free Wi-Fi, and you can accept and they take card. So that's something to keep in mind. When in Japan, always have cash, always. Yo, I don't find my remote. I cannot turn the settings on. Yeah, um, it's actually very hard to find um, in small cities in Japan. It's kind of hard to find places that have um, um, dietary considerations. <laughs> so Japan is good in that sense. They have, uh, well, Tokyo is good in that sense. They do have, um, it's only gacha here. They only have, um, their place where you can find vegan food in Tokyo. Uh, Shibuya has a lot of those. And uh, there's also a lot of halal places lately. And here is on the 7th and 8th floor is my favorite car shop, Yellow Submarine. Uh, this shop you can find everything. So you can find like tabletop RPGs, board games, whatever. And here you can also find like gaming cards like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon and such. And On the top you can find like more collectible places. My boys over there are opening TCGs. Booster packs. On Sundays, this street is clocked. 
these are all locked. Uh, this street is locked in um, Sundays, so you can just walk across the street. Any gaming chip thrill? Um, for gaming, I would say go to the Taito Hay Station since they have a lot of the older games. So those tend to be cheaper. And for gaming, I would say go to Mandrake or any of the other um, used game shops that I showed you guys. You can buy really cheap games there. And yeah, Taylor, a lot of people are wearing white shirts for one reason. Um, Akihabara is right next to Kanda. And Kanda is actually a business district. So there's a lot of, lot of, lot of like big companies and buildings that are here. So most of these people are either on their lunch break, going to or from work. So they tend to be wearing white shirts. So if you see, it's a lot of men. And all of them are businessmen. And again, the temperature right now is 28 degrees, so that also helps out on the white. See, like, everybody's wearing, like, suits and such. So we're back at Akihabara Station. We actually didn't walk that far away. And at night here, you can see a lot of idol performances, like upcoming idols. And not just idols, but also musicians. So if you're into music and want to check out some local Japanese music, I recommend coming to this side of Akihabara Station. So we start the tour right across from here and I am going to show you the AKB Cafe. So you just get on the electric town exit and you can start the tour on that side but if you come this way Here's the AKB Cafe. What is this? Uh, Gut Ruffle, I think. So this is the shop and cafe. I cannot go in for, I'm gonna get kicked out again, but you can get Luis, you can get um, anything from your favorite girl, except from Team 8. Team 8 is not um, being shown, but you can get um, drinks. Yeah, it's, it's just like a maid cafe. Uh, the AKB girls are not working in there, but you can get menus based on your favorite girls. So Here's what the AKB cafe food looks like. I'm gonna get kicked out! I already got kicked out of a game center! I would, but I don't want to get kicked out twice in the same day. Actually, here's the takeout place, so you can get all of these drinks for takeout. Mm -hmm. I really want to get inside, but I'm actually... I kid you not, I'm gonna get kicked out. Uh, I'll put the camera up close. So you can see kind of what you can get from the shop.
I cannot get any good shots of the cafe though. But if you, um, I showed you guys earlier where the AKB um, live stage was, the theater. So you come here and you can get your tickets so you can come see them perform. I've actually never been to the AKB theater though. So here you go, Luis. If you want to know more, oh, they gave me the bad eye already. You can see the products, yeah. The girl already, there was a girl inside and she made eye contact with me and told me to not get in. And right next to it is the Gundam Cafe. You can come here and buy some goods right from the outside. Yeah, no problem, Brandy. Um, usually we ask people what they want to see. So if you guys want to see more Japan, uh, remember to follow us on our social media. Um, I run the Twitter, so check out the Twitter. And I always try to answer as many questions as possible. So if you have any recommendations, uh, join us on our Facebook or Instagram groups. Well, Facebook groups or Instagram page. And... Remember to also follow the Twitter at RecLock underscore Japan and put submissions of where you would like to go next. So if there's any other place you would like to see in Japan like Shibuya, Shinjuku, Odaiba, all the good stuff, just please let us know so that we can make um, experiences that you will appreciate. I'm just going to show you one last place and we will end the stream for today. If you guys want to have any questions or something, just let me know right now. Do you guys have any questions about Akihabara, Tokyo, Japan? Um, right now is your time. Oh man, Sebastian, you came in a little bit too late. You can't. Um, I tried to get into a game center earlier and I got kicked out. So I went through like the back entrance and I filmed a little bit. Uh, we're gonna upload, we're gonna keep the stream online. So if you're interested in seeing what a game center looks like, uh, I recommend you to just wait a little bit, wait a couple hours, then come back to the Facebook page and you actually, or the YouTube channel, and you actually will see our um, the stream live well the live stream recorded so you can just like fish for it and see what the game center looks like inside yeah we just, um, UDX is, you see where the big camera is? The building with red, right next to it. Um, restaurants in Akihabara are actually very used to seeing foreigners. Um, they're very used to foreigners, so they have a lot of English menus. Uh, I don't really use it often, but they always have it, which is really handy. But I always recommend, if, you, if your Japanese is not good, I recommend, um, Places like Yoshinoya or Kokokare, big chain places, they always have English menus. But they're always very friendly, they're used to it, so they're not... Um, so they don't... Um, there's no conflicts. And for arcade games, um, it depends on what you want to play. If you're into fighting games and rhythm games, like music games, like dance games, I recommend Taito. If you're into crane games, I recommend Sega. So, it just depends on what game you want to. So, we are still around the station. Yeah, you're not allowed to record. The moment I try to get in, they literally told me you can't. So... We're about to end the stream, and I'm just gonna show you one last interesting thing.
Here is the uh, Square Enix Cafe. Uh, they also have different collaborations with different games like um, Dragon, right now Dragon Quest. So the menu is all Dragon Quest themed. And other times they have things like uh, Final Fantasy, Nier Automata, and the like. And I recommend this place a lot, it's one of my favorites. And if you guys are a Dragon Quest fan, um, earlier, well, there is a pastry that is shaped like the slime, the blue character. If you want to see what the special dessert looks like, uh, follow on Twitter at on, uh, Reclock underscore Japan, and I will show you guys too. Kingdom Hearts, yeah, they did. They did have Kingdom Hearts when Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. And if you come, you can always get um, special goods. And there's a takeout menu. But well, that was Red Clock's live stream of Akihabara. So we have ended for today. If you have any more questions or suggestions of where to travel, where you would like us to show you again, uh, follow, join our Facebook groups and follow us on Twitter at rec, uh, Reclock underscore Japan and leave your suggestions and questions. Thank you for joining. See you guys next time. Thanks, Tyler.